It's time to get dangerous because I'm going in with the vigilante and I'm going to do kind of like an assassin build. Now, I'm not going to go with the bow. Also, everything's relocked because last time around I, I closed my game and apparently it didn't save the fairy tears expenses. So a few of my resources came back. Doesn't matter. So I'm using the bow staff. Now, the bow staff is an interesting weapon. I'm not entirely sure what the heavy is doing, but I'll show you that in a second. But it's just a good melee weapon. You could do this with the short sword as well, or pretty much any weapon, but the sword and the bow staff probably the best. And using the shadow strike. You probably could guess after the last video, I really like the look of this. So the way that this plays out is that the bow staff has a pretty nice one, two, three hit combo. It's pretty similar to the sword. It's a, maybe a smidge slower, but it has a wider arc as far as I'm concerned. Now, the heavy is where I'm not sure what's going on. Because he has this kind of like slowed down fade thing. And what you can do with this is you can move and weave around enemies. Now, I'm fairly convinced that's the main point of this is to kind of have a dodge attack. It's not a true counter. I have gone in and tested this just to make sure I knew what I was doing. If you just stand in front of an enemy and do this before they hit you, it just hits me. I don't know if it's working that way as intended or not. I don't know if it's meant to be a counter, but I think what it's meant to be is enemy starts trying to hit you weave to the side, right? It's just giving you mobility while also letting you hit an enemy. It's kind of nice. In addition to that, the special skill does not want to work on the target dummy anymore. I don't know why I've broken it. Typical Beals, I broke the game. We'll see that when we get into the actual run. Now Merlin over here is the guy I need to talk to to show you my tree because I've added a few more things. Over here in the war section is where he left it off last time. I've only upgraded as many as I did. The life settings area, I only have... I think this rolled back a little bit for me, so I don't have all of the extra bonus life. All the max health gains aren't really here. What I do have instead is I've put more into treasure, specifically so that when we kill bosses, we get more grail water, which is the resource we need to fill these in. It just makes sense to get these upgrades first so that we get more grail water so that I can start filling these in faster. Getting these last would be redundant, right? We also have a chance to get more fairy embers when enemies die. Fairy embers are things that we use to unlock weapons and skills, so that'd be very nice. And we also have the holy water over here. When we get grail water, we get some life backs. We have a little bit more healing baked in as well. Now, I've unlocked the devotion constellation, which is what affects our rarity for finding blessing upgrades. So we currently have a 10% higher chance to get uncommons, and that goes all the way through until we get to purity, where we'll do more damage for each blessing from a fey lord that we have the most blessings from. So if I get three blessings from Titania, for example, we'll do like 9% more damage because we have a lot of blessings from her. So this kind of encourages mono building, which is how they balance the fact that some of the um, duo blessings that you can get have very strong effects. So you could pick one or two. I, you don't want to spread yourself too wide. You don't want to get like three or four different blessings unless you just want to do that for the fun of it, I guess. But you could balance purity and duo. So if you know what duos are available, Pick those two, go for the duo, and then once you have the duo, maybe try and like either balance between the two or just push one of them a little bit higher so that purity really kicks in with the scaling and you get more benefits. But this means that going a, a solo blessing route with only one of the Fae is not a bad idea necessarily. This kind of makes that like compensation because maybe you want to do an all poison build with the spider lady, right? But that's going to be weaker than just picking like two or three different fey, right? Because you get different effects. Well, now purity is going to make that work better. We also have, you know, a higher chance to get epic, a higher chance to get rare, and a higher chance to get legendary. So these are all, once these are all filled in, we're going to see more of the more powerful blessings show up, as well as making the mono ones a little bit better. Down here, I've unlocked wealth, but I haven't put any points into it just yet. I could get like, yeah, let's get like a little bit in there. So this increases our starting gold up to two, four, six, eight, one hundred gold at the very start of your run. Very, very helpful because I've been having a hard time getting gold in the middle of my runs. In addition to that, the little forks over here, we have uh, plus 10 gold if we beat a room in 30 seconds. There are three of these, so you can get up to 30 extra gold in a room if you beat it fast enough. You know, nice speedrun tactics. Shops are 25% less expensive. Very, very nice. I don't know... See, you can flip all of these. Now, I have to go back and show these in the other ones because you can choose what you want to get. So Shady Deal... So items at the secret shop cost less. This is something I didn't realize until about an hour ago when I was testing some things out and I figured out you can flip these. All of this up here, reviving allies better, chance to find gold pots. We don't worry about any of that kind of stuff. So for example, the curse walker, we deal more damage the more curse we have. We can flip that and the fountain after a boss fight will remove curse effects. Do you want to go like a glass cannon kind of build or do you want to go with, you know, a safe route kind of build? Now over here, 
get water, get health back. Flip it. When you collect fairy embers, reduce curse. There's a lot of different little things you can do here. I'm really happy that they're doing this. And I should have talked about this at the time, but you can flip it for chaos. You deal more base damage for each Fey Lord you have a blessing from. So <laughs> you can do Purity, which is the mono build, or you can still do chaos. Chaos is probably going to be, I want to say the most reliable because this gives you more access to duo blessings and just multiple different builds. Like you can, you can get the duos and still benefit from a ton. But if you want to stack this any higher than 10%, you want to go like three, four, five different Fey. So maybe I'd still go Purity and just get two Fey dominantly and try and get duos and then go from there. Now down here we have, I haven't even unlocked it yet. We have the Vanguard. We do 50% more damage to enemies that are above 90% health for the big slammies. Or we have Slayer, which deals more damage to enemies that are already close to death. I'd go Slayer because I find that not having any extra benefit for 90% of the fight, like once they're below that 90% threshold, you don't get this anymore. I'd rather have a damage boost for 25% of the fight than only have a damage boost for the first like three seconds until that health thing goes down. If anything, I might suggest that Vanguard should be buffed so that you do that 50% more damage until they hit 80% threshold, maybe? Because 50% is a lot. And depending on what kind of build you're doing, maybe, maybe, because I don't know how powerful some of the one-hit nukes can get in this game. I imagine Rook has some pretty good access to some where he could do like a really big hit. I doubt he's going to one-shot a boss or get a boss down to half health immediately, but it'd be really good because I, at the moment I just see Slayer as being a teensy bit more useful for boss killing, but Vanguard would definitely be really good for mob clearing. And I think that's maybe the way that you have to balance it in your head is do you have more issues with bosses or mobs? Because the 90% health thing, I don't think it's going to be as useful for boss killing. Slayer would definitely be more useful for that. Um, I think that's all I had to really cover. Let's get into the run and actually start proper. And I'm going to show you how this assassin build kind of works because we can teleport behind enemies and hit them immediately. So I'm going to come in, teleport behind him, hit two dudes, teleport behind him. And no enemies in range, it says. Teleport behind him. I just got tagged because I didn't one-shot him with my hit. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What do we have over here? We have the Dark Omen. We also have Gog and Magog. I'm going to go with Dark Omen because this is backstab territory. Now, if I could get... Ooh, I don't. I only have dash. So Dark Omen is going to be insane for this because our ability, what does it do? It teleports behind enemies. So if I can just get my, my ability to automatically have a chance at backstabbing, which gives you a big damage bonus whenever you hit a dude from behind, it's going to be like a massive damage boost to our teleport attack. Huge even. Absolutely massive. So I'm going to increase our light attack damage because I can still teleport behind the enemy. And that's going to leave me open to do backstab. So my light attack is going to just slay. So for example, also, the heavy attack lets me move like... There we go, backstabs. He's going to try and shoot me. I'm going to come over here and uh, hit him with a few backstabs. I'm going to break this and he's going to be in the way still. He dies. We collect this. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, I'm going to boost the backstab potential on my basic attack. I could get more money, but I kind of want to just make this disgusting. So the frog's going to run away, and I can use my heavy to kind of chase him down. It's not super necessary, because I do have a dash. But it is handy, you know? No, no, no. Bam, bam, bam. Backstab him. Kill him. It's, it's really nice we get an extra, what, 30.15% damage on our backstab hits. Very nice. I want to get more omen. If I can get omen on my special, on my, my, my skill, my spell, it's going to be... What's the condition for this? I haven't seen this one. Destroy the crystals quickly. Okay. Can I teleport to the crystals? That's the question. Okay. I can just do that, and that's going to break that. I can do that, and will it break that? Yes, good. Teleport to this one. And teleport to this one. Then we come over here and we... My heavy's a little bit slower, so I don't really want to use... Damn, we did it. Nice. There we go. So we have Omen. Give me the Omen. Skill, 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 skill. <gasps> it's epic. You can backstab by hitting an enemy from the side. Oh. But my spell getting backstab. That gives an extra 70% damage. But then again... Everything getting backstab on the side is so nice. It just means it's easier to land it. 
and you give them movement speed boost? I didn't even realize that Omen... Dude, Omen's amazing for this kind of a build. Just for the movement speed alone, it's amazing. I don't want to pass up an epic deadly precision. 33% more bonus. That, that would carry to everything. If I can find him again and get Shadow Flourish. Yeah, no, give me, give me the precision for now. Give me the precision for now. And I'll be greedy and I'll try and find him again. You watch me not be able to get him. I wonder if there's like a forgiveness system where if you've already found a Fey once or so, you can find them more consistently later. Dude, look at the backstabs. We're triggering backstabs so much easier now already. Genius. Yep, yeah, die. Die. We've also healed back up to full. Very, oh, here we go, secret shop. I don't want anything in the secret shop. I don't know how to balance things like this. This isn't even a problem that the game suffers from. It's a problem that I suffer from. Whenever there's things like this, um, other games have featured temporary buffs that affect, you know, only a few rooms, like more movement speed for five rooms, more damage reduction for five rooms. Things like this are really, really good. I just don't know. It's hard for me to debate in my mind whether or not it's worth it until I can start getting so much money I don't know what to do with. So the secret shops may not be that valuable to me in the beginning of the game when I haven't got a lot of resources to spend. And maybe it's just a me problem. And I have to wait. Can you stop doing that, sir? Look at all the backstabs. Get chonkled, kid. Oh, the back... Dude, so much damage. The backstabs are just popping off. Yep. Perish. But yeah, I might have to wait. You, more omen? Thank you. <gasps> Legendary. Your backstabs inflict bleed and it max stacks enemies hemorrhage. <laughs> so when an enemy reaches max stacks of bleed, they... Okay, so we just we just have to keep backstabbing until they get a large flat damage. We're doing, we're doing Elden Ring Dark Souls logic for bleed. Build it up and then have them just explode. My first ever legendary upgrade. I'm very excited about this. I can't wait. I'm, I'm still going to chase after the omen. I want that. This is why I need purity, dude. I need that purity upgrade. I've been doing a lot more damage now with how much omen I'm getting. How'd that not trigger? There we go. Teleport to the frog. Teleport to the frog. Unfortunately. Did that get him? What? Dude, what a lucky frog. Kermit's out here cheating. I've got to be careful because me and teleports like this have a habit of accidentally teleporting into an enemy's attack. Like if I teleport and then take a step forward, I'll walk like in front of them and get hit by the thing I was trying to dodge. I'm very bad for doing that. Hello, my friend. Can I trigger some bleed on you, please? Teleport back in. Now, only my basic attack can trigger the backstabs. So if I want to... What is the maximum stacks for this anyway? Oh, did I just do it? No, I didn't do it. Good. There it is. Looks like it's 10. Damn, that's a bit of damage too. Ow, I, I stood in front of him. There we go. It's okay. We took a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Money or a max life boost? Now, we are kind of fragile. I'll take the max life boost, to be honest, because Vigilante isn't as thick as the others. And I do have to get into melee range, so I'm a little bit more vulnerable. We are doing a ton of damage. Doesn't change the fact that I'm still vulnerable, though. So the bleed is mostly going to be for, like, boss enemies, because these guys... They're not getting enough time to even come close to stacking up enough. You had to be careful there. If it, if it chose the guy in front, I was still going to get hit by the second guy. The backstab, the logic behind who it targets is going to get me hit if I'm not careful. So I still have to dodge. Luckily, I can kind of walk around. I'm sorry if I'm not going to use the heavy attack too much. I should. Like, you can do it like this. Like, I just got hit because I tried to do it. See, that's what I mean. It's a little bit funny. I have to... I, I was stuck between, you know, spikes and a wall. So if I... I need to just, like, be able to schmoove around a guy a little bit more. Yo, almost got hit there because I got greedy. Almost got hit there because I got greedy. God damn. Whoa. I'm trying to go fast so I get more rewards. I should have done my heavy to chase. Spiked himself. Thank you. 
What do we get? 12? That's a good reward. I'm okay with that. 12 is good. Uh, more Grail Water. This will give us a small heal, though. We get 10 heal for getting more water. So this is healing and resources. We love it. And that's a couple of big boys. And I'm getting hurt because I can't one-shot these things. Because my basic doesn't do more damage. Like Gogamagog and some of the other ones, they... Where is that frog? Get rid of these frogs. Oh my god, he was char- I didn't know he was charging! I'm being really greedy here. I'm just kind of taking it. I'm accepting it into my life. There we go. I actually lost more life than I would have gained back. Did I even gain any back? <gasps> I don't know if I gained any back. We'll take an elite room. I may have to spend some money on healing at this rate because I'm being very greedy. I'm, I'm doing the whole, you know, life is a resource and just spend it. Now you guys, yeah, they shockwave now. The elites are getting tough, man. Holy shit. I'm, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Look at all these dudes. Hit that. Just casually make some dudes. What was that bomb over there? Now, they are going to summon more enemies, I think. I don't know. Is it worth it? Killing a whole bunch of enemies? Dude, look at this mess. i got to be careful. i got to be real... Oh, i got to be really careful here. There are so many problems in this room. I need to get rid of... Can I get you to walk on this? No, they're not going to walk on this. No. Nah. Damn you. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, this is like the hardest room I've ever seen. I'm going to have to start doing some teleport dash strategies. Or, oh, yep, keep summoning more. She's just going to keep summoning. I need to get these elites out of the way. But they're so... I need to bait them. Come over here. The elites are so cluttered amongst all of the other enemies. Get out of the way. I need to make them separate from the other... That's kind of going to help. Who is it going to teleport to, though? And the bleed stacks run off over time. They don't stay on there forever, so... Oh, 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 oh. Yikes. Yikes. No, it's, it's going to be... It's going to be... It's gonna be it's gonna be tricky, dude. This is not this is not easy, man. This is not easy. Look at all these range dudes. I got a sh I got a schmooze. I got a weave. Kill her. Thank you. Okay, the elites are dead. So now I can. Oh my god. Thankfully, the teleport on the bow stuff makes me do a a swing type attack. So I actually like swing around and do a little bit of an AOE. Ooh. Okay, that room was nuts. Money or 200 gold. I'll take the 200 gold. That's going to give me some healing. Oh, there we go. I could go into the shop or I could just do this. No, no, no. My, my healing depends on you guys all dying. 37? Okay, there we go. I got some health back. I no longer need to worry. I could go into the shop right now. I might do the shop right now. Because I've already done the mini boss, so we're getting close to the end. Can I get my... Here it is. The omen. Can I get my skill? Your bleed stacks don't decay. Oh, man, that's good. But my spell getting um, backstab is more important because now I can teleport behind them, do more damage with it. I could probably like one-shot some, some enemies that I couldn't before. Plus... If you remember, I'm getting like a 33% baseline boost to all my backstabs. So this is actually like 100% more damage from doing my attacks. So I'm doing double damage with that. After killing an enemy, briefly gain invisibility. Enemies won't target you, but can still damage you. I mean, that's okay, but I want my Shadow Flourish. And then maybe I should just buy some Grail Water, just for more upgrade juice at the end. There we go. Maybe I didn't actually get... I don't think I have my heal for getting Grail Water, do I? I thought I did, but I don't think I do. Oh yeah, that damage is looking good already. How did that not... Wait, what? I swear that should have triggered. Trigger! <laughs> Trigger, damn it! 
You're triggering me. Holy crap. Okay, I don't. I'm just not. Oh, I don't have my thing. Try me. Get backstabbed. Damn. I gotta be so careful. I'm getting, like, ahead of myself. More omen? Your heavy attacks can backstab. Your dash leaves behind a shade. It can backstab. Oh, he just does a strike. I'm gonna do an upgrade. I'm gonna do an upgrade. I'm going all in. This is the bad omen run. That's the... I thought it was gonna be a... I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute... Did I just get healing from that? Oh, I'm getting the, the fey the fey stuff. They're dropping the fey stuff. Thank you, the fairy juice. That was cool. So, your backstabs inflict bleed at max stacks. The hemorrhage goes up in damage. Or the backstabs go up by about 14. That's backstabs across the board. So my, my skill and my light attacks will do more. Or the hemorrhage will do about 70 more damage. I kind of... See, this would be really good to do for the boss fight because... Yeah, I'm going to go in on the hemorrhage, dude. I, I should... It's probably smarter to make all of my backstabs better in general, but I'm going to be greedy. I think this is the last shot before the boss anyway. And I don't think I have any money for anything, so we're just going to move on. There's some okay stuff in there, though. I'd get the healing probably because I'm a little bit weak. I just got to be careful about his whirlwind. That's the main thing that he's going to do that's going to screw me if I'm not careful. But... I should be able to avoid... There we go. He's he mowing. And then avoid this. But... There's the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. And then backstab in. Dodged a little early. don't want these guys to linger for too long, so I'm going to try and... Whoa. Thank you for standing next to him. Yep. I think that's the fastest I just killed that guy. Holy crap, that was really, really good damage. Wow. Wow, that was sick. I didn't plan for this. I planned for this run to take a little bit longer. That was really cool, dude. Really cool. We got a lot of juice out of that. So what I should do is immediately come in and start buffing up how much money we get. And so items from regular shops cost less. So this will let me just buy more stuff. I just want to buy more stuff. I want more things. Yes, I should be upgrading the rarity boost. Now, I think I have enough. Do I have this? I do, I do have this. Oh, I flipped it. Crystal shards increase max health. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot I flipped it over. Oh, I'm a goober. I'm such a goober, dude. I'm a goofer. All right. And then we have Vanguard over here. No, I wanted to go for the purity one. So let's get this unlocked now. So we have a higher chance to get that blessing. I'm only six short. Damn. If only I'd gotten a little bit more. Because then we could start messing around and like figuring out what we want to go for. But I have the Grail heal now. I'm just going to, I'm keeping the Grail water heal for now because we do get Grail water after boss fights, which means we get some healing back. Right? We get a bit of healing back. It's good. We want to get healing. We want to get some life. All right. After some messing around, we're going to do a Rook run, right? But I'm going to make it a little bit spicy. Uh, but we're not going to use any new abilities because I have tried these out. And I haven't shown these before. So let's take a look. So we've got this cool Bull Rush. What this does is it basically charges into enemies and it pushes them back. So you can see my, my dummy's actually been knocked into the wall a little bit. It's similar to Spectre's Fireball, only it doesn't stop as soon as it hits a dude. You can keep charging with it. You can even steer it if you're not locked on. It's it's okay. It's kind of nice. It'd be good for, like, you know, barreling through multiple dudes. But I don't really want to use it for the build I'm using right now. We also have the Sky Drop. This is really, really cool. I think this might be one of his best abilities. Because if you're locked onto a target, he just leaves the screen, right? So if you're about to get hit by something, or if maybe, like, AoE is coming your way, 
you have an easy way of just maybe there's like a bunch of enemies all bunched up and there's a bunch of range dudes you can just bam land on them and then do dodge away the caveat to it it looks like i'm mashing dodge as fast as i can so he stays there for a second so it's not perfectly safe you might get hit but it's a good way to get in and make you know a bit of a gap close it does have limited range but a pretty generous hitbox on it regardless don't do it from too far away and if you don't lock on you can of course choose where you want to fire it this is pretty good for a lot of other abilities but once again i'm not going to use it now we have the commander shield this makes you take less damage when you're near the actual totem i was going to use this the only problem is you put the shield down and then it's gone it doesn't last too long and i know why because you've got three charges for your abilities you can even drop two of them down i think on the third one the first one's like about to go away so you can put them down. I don't know if they stack. Like if you put three or two on top of each other, if it, you know, multiplies or it's just additive. But you put it down. And by the time you put it down, maybe do like one or two hits or move around. You're kind of done. I don't really know if it's that good necessarily because this relies on your allies or yourself staying in this small area. You're putting down basically a limitation on yourself. I have to stand in here. But if an enemy's attacking, you're like, oh no, get away, get away, get away, run away. So it's not necessarily encouraging movement it's encouraging like turtling up a little bit but maybe that's a good thing if you're doing like a multiplayer build where you've got say the, the paladin is doing her her black hole ability and specter is doing i don't know arcane blasts and putting shields on people and stuff like that i don't know but for me on this build it's not going to be the, the vibe so we're going to go with counter sorry we're doing counter again but i'm using the gauntlets and the reason i'm using the gauntlets is because they have some pretty cool things they can do so there's like a nice little one two it's just a one two and then we have on the right trigger oh it's just it's just doing the punch oh what the hell what's that left right left right it's got combos we've got combos what if i hold in the right trigger oh we've got a quake not only that, but if you see, if I let it go at the moment that we get the flash on his glove, we do more damage if I just hold it. 60. Perfect timing. You get 101 damage and even says a little perfect there so you know you did it right. I did it wrong right there. Did it right there. Did it right there. What if I hold in the normal attack? Oh, I can steer. And we rush in. If I perfect it, that's a lot of damage and that's a lot of... Dude, look how far he's got. Wait a minute. Dude, that's deceptive range. So the goal is to initiate all combat by doing this. We go in, we do some of this, and we counter. All right, that's the build. That's the idea. Sorry this took so long. I had to show off some of the other abilities that Rookie Boy has, but it's pretty damn wild. So is he ready for it? No. Nah. Answer is no. He's not ready for it. Punch him to death. Beat him up. I could have countered, but I don't care. Titania! Oh, Tedders want to give me some ignite. Thank you. An uncomet, your light attack will ignite. So every so often, our light attack just destroys. The Dude, this rush attack is about to do some insane damage. Insane damage. And me without my purity. I want a pure Tedders build, please. Did that just one shot him? Bruh. Get it. What the hell is that? I killed it, whatever it was. I got 100 gold? There's loot goblins? I've never seen loot goblins. I don't need any healing, sorry. I'm gonna go with more blessings. Give me more titania, please. I've never seen a loot goblin. I'm learning new stuff every time I come in here and do something, man. Dude, that punch goes through dudes. No. <laughs> no. What if I do a little bit of... Uh, what if I do a little bit of... Uh, what if I do a little bit of... I just pushed him into the spikes. No. Him with the left, right, left, right, left, right. Teach him about it. Teach him about it. Okay, we know that Titania and Oberon have to have an insane duo blessing, right? We know they have to. Your heavy attack gives you fury on hit. So because... This is gonna... Oh, this is gonna be so sick. Because the gauntlets, you do left, right, left, right. So it's literally light, heavy, light, heavy. And you get, like, combos. Tempest Strike is going to genuinely activate from us just doing our normal stuff. I don't have to do the big charged AoE Quake. I should be able to get Fury by just doing my normal Fisticuffs. Or we let our counter do Fury, but I'm not going to worry about that. When you dash, you summon a Whirlwind? Nah. Tempest Strike. 
Temper Strike. So I do one, two, one, two, and hopefully that's going to actually work for us. And because Titania gives us, you know, more damage on our first big lungy punch. Oh, wait, this is the one where I got to gather shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is okay. I just took no damage from that. I clashed with him. I was about to just use that to travel, and I thought, nah, let's not worry about that. Die. That's, that's one-shotting. That's genuinely one-shotting. Did I not get that? I, d I missed it. I didn't get it in time. Oh, I could have... There we go. I'm cheeky. I'm cheeky with it. Titters. Always titters. Be titters before Ubers. Every six seconds, your dash will cause you to immolate. Your ignited attacks cause enemies they hit to immolate. I like the sound of that. I do like the sound of that. Although this has more immolate damage. This is probably more consistent. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it causes me to immolate. So enemies near me will take more damage. Enemies near my target will take more damage. This one might be a little bit more beneficial. Explode and damage all near enemies when you take damage. Now give me the afterburn. I'll do afterburn first. I'll worry about the other ones later. There's the shop again. I could get a... Yeah, you know what? I've got more than 150, so I could... I could buy an Oberon upgrade. And it is cheaper now. Oh, it's true. It is cheaper. It's much cheaper, actually. No duos just yet. I wonder... They, they have to have a duo. It's the king and queen of the fae. Spell gives fury. Dash gives whirlwind. Your fury stacks last longer before wearing off. Give me that. I haven't... Not, I have been getting fury though, right? Like, I wasn't looking, but I'm pretty damn sure I am, right? And now let's upgrade... Yeah, let's upgrade the damage of our, our first major rush punch that we're doing every once in a while to just be stupid good. Did I actually land that parry? Oof. I was about to... You know what? I'm taking the... Ah! Ah! I'm fucking it up. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, we're getting the fury. We're getting the fury. We're getting the fury. Okay, this is good. We're getting the fury. I'm just making mistakes. I'm just making mistakes. I was going to do some parrying in there and I mistimed it and the dog ran past me and not into me. Ah, dude, stuff happened. Don't talk to me about it. I don't want to talk about it. What? See? He missed. That's his fault, not mine. Whoa, I didn't go past him. Ah! Hit him with the sauce. Hit him with the sauce. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna rush punch too much. I'm getting a little bit too, too zesty with it. There's my dodge. When you hit an enemy with an ignited attack, apply emulate to yourself. Go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. I need more. I need to get like the dodge and the skill like on the right side over there. You can see I've only got one Obers and one Titania on those particular slots. I might need more. Should I do this? Nah, I don't really need those as much anymore. I'm getting a lot of them from normal runs. I'll worry about them later. Hello, sir. I can at least start with this. Did you hit me? Oh shit, that's right. Yep. Damn it, I tried to parry the slam. I am bad. Just need more fury. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Cool. I, I didn't die. I, I did stuff. It worked out. 
I could boost my max life, or I could be super damn greedy and just go for more money. We go for more money. That way I can go to the shop and buy some more blessings from Titters and Obers, please. Overkill to the extreme, my guy. Parry that nonsense. Oos, 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 oos. I could have moved fast enough, you bitch! Uh, 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 uh. Wait for it. I need to parry more. I need to parry a lot more. Just parry more. I need to do the parry dodge tactic where I just do like a parry and then at the end of the frames, if I think I failed, I just dodge automatically. That way I'm always safe. Always safe. Always let me dodge cancel out of my parry animation. That way I can always stay safe no matter what. Healing. I love that sound effect. There you go, have that. Overkill you. I'm schmoving, dude. I'm Damn it, die! My my normal hits aren't hitting hard enough. My my regular little little punchy punch does like 40 damage and it's not hitting hard enough. I keep thinking I'm killing faster than I actually am. Ooh, I need more money so I can get to a shop and, and actually buy a new one. I don't need to upgrade ones I've already got. I need new ones so I can try and find a duo boon, please. Double? Yeah. He wasn't in it in time. The double. Punch him to death. Why did he go that way? What? There's a goblin over here. That's why. Oh, oh, oh. Pop him. There we go. There we go. I didn't even see the loot goblin. He just popped up out of nowhere. Be ever vigilant. You never know where goblins might be hiding. Healing. I didn't get the healing. Was that healing or money? I think that was money. Okay, you, sir? God damn. How did he miss? How did he miss? Bro. Who am I locked on to? There's a dude in the ground. Okay. Blow. Is that the loot goblin? Bruh, he was hiding in the ground. I am getting healing. I bugged him out. I think it was a loot goblin. Oh shit. My parry! Dude. I may- I'm out of parries! Fuck! When did I run out? I'm gonna have to be very, very careful about locking onto some enemies because it's- it's messing up my, um, my aiming. I think lock-on is better for range. Not as good for melee. I want to be more fluid with my melee. I want to actually, like, steer my shots a bit more. That's what I'm learning. I'm learning that. I'm learning that the hard way. Titters? Duo! Flare burst. Whenever you apply emulate, gain a burst of movement speed. Sick. I want it. More money means I can buy more stuff because I've already got... With 300 plus, I could buy both boons and maybe like one small heal. This will guarantee me. Alright, and then unlock. No, not fast enough. I gotta be I gotta be so careful, man. I gotta be cautious as all hell. Especially with all the traps. There's the movement speed boost. Oh my god. And I can't parry these guys anywhere near as easily. There we go. 
I don't need perfects on them all the time. Didn't hit him. Hello, sir. What if I just do this to you? Hmm. He hops away a lot. Those frogs are definitely easier for a ranged dude to handle. They're just a natural uh, issue for melee guys, it seems. They're just baked in that way. Some healing. May as well grab that. And I can buy... Whatever I want. <laughs> Your spells can backstab. I don't, my parry literally shouldn't be able to backstab anyone because I need to be able to be hit by them. Unless I can parry an AoE while standing behind a guy. Chance to evade is nice though. Your spell is stronger and inflicts weak. That might be kind of good. Give me that. Let's inflict some weak. So I'm kind of hurt. I'm not, I'm not very healthy. I've only got 55 life. Although 55 is a, is a pretty cool number. Shoutouts to the stream. This might work, but maybe not. I don't have a good track record with Rook and my parries. It's always a death trap. I'm gonna parry the first thing there, you better believe it. Yeah. I think I messed that up. I was anxious. I, I, okay. I thought I was gonna parry that. I just evidently did not. Forever remembering that I can't do some of the things I want to do because I'm a goob. I don't know what happened there. Did I did I do a good or a bad? Whoa, buddy boy! Apparently that did not. Ooh. Ooh. Should have parried that. Yep. Cool. Oh no, we're okay. Hit him. I'm not even parrying those, dude. Nice. Oh shit. Oh, shit! I didn't see. Alright, he's on fire. That's good. He's gonna jump. I just gotta run away for a second. Oh. Got him. Dead. Ah, they're still coming. Woo! Dude, I suck with Rook. <laughs> Rook is definitely tricky to use. He's definitely the tricky one to use. Even with Titania and Oberon's duo boon and duo powers, I was I was getting my ass warped, dude. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. I need. I need to unlock some purity. I need to get some of this. This is going to help out a lot with my damage whenever I'm going solos. Because I think I want to, like, experiment with solos a bit more than, like, spreading throughout. Or solos and duos, maybe. With what I can get. Now, I probably should... Get some max life boost, right? So I'm not sucking nearly as hard. And let's see. That's a chance to get sh crystal shards. Don't even need them anymore. Challenge shrine, shrine, shrines... 10% chance to get some... Now, nah, let's get some money. How about that? We've almost finished up up here. What was this? Healing inside the pots. Yes, please, please, please. Deal more damage, the more curse you have, and then the fountain after boss fights also removes curse effects. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. What did war have over here? Right, that was more damage at the start and at the end. So, for example, that big fisty punch move that I was doing where I was rushing across the screen, that'd be pretty good for a vanguard build, maybe. I think most of these are just... There's a little bit of weapon damage in there, but it's mostly Revive Ally. So let's come over here, and I can start putting in... If I can clear a room in 30 seconds, I get more money. More money, 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 money. Very good, very good, very good. 
we're mostly there. I think the rest of it, I'm just going to start dumping into the upgraded chances to find better blessings. And there we go. A pretty strong assassin backstab type build, but the vigilante and a pretty... I nearly died, but still was kind of fun build on Rook with the gauntlets and parries. I definitely think I should be doing like the leap into the air slam down barbarian style build with maybe like the big hammer or the big sword, but I wanted to punch dudes, man. I love, I love fisting. I love, wait, I love punching dudes. It's really fun. I kind of want to come back in and do some Spectre or maybe some of the, the, uh, the Paladin Monk girl because I haven't looked at their other weapons much or their other abilities outside of... The monk we looked at. I haven't seen much of Spectre, though. Spectre might be kind of sick. She's got a scythe, man. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed some more Swan, and I will see you all again next time. Have a good one.